people were calling me and they were asking me what was going on at the house. Uh, parachute, parachute, there's an orange parachute that was, it came down with it. The sky is falling on the Navajo Nation. This morning, people there trying to find out what crash landed in a remote area near the town of Cayenta on Wednesday. And now Arizonans are no stranger to strange things in the sky. Looking at you, Phoenix Lights. So this morning, we want to know what you think. What fell out of the sky over the Navajo Nation? Text us your ideas of what this monstrosity is. 602-444-1212. Well, Tully Begay, who you just heard from, found the wreckage after it landed not too far from his house. He says his grandson watched it and his phone has been ringing ever since. Navajo Nation Council Delegate Nathaniel Brown shared this photo along with the caption, joking that the aliens were welcome as long as they brought a COVID-19 vaccine oh, yes. with them. Yeah, you know what? We will we'll accept it. Come on down. Likely explanation, it's probably just a weather balloon from Google's Project Loon, which hopes to bring internet access to remote areas. According to Loon's press kit, the hardware attached to the balloon looks very much like what landed behind Begay's house. We reached out to Project Loon, but, but they haven't gotten back to us on this whole thing. But still, put on your tinfoil caps this morning and let us know what you think this is. It definitely looks like it's got some solar panels on it. Um, you know, it's 2020, so I guess we're all going to talk about possible aliens. But let's see. It's a satellite. Satellites have parachutes attached to them in case they fall, which is the case. That is not a UFO. <laughs> Technically, if it's unidentified and it's flying, it is a UFO, <laughs> right? I mean, by definition, uh, it looks like a weather balloon, Rick says in Tucson. Rick's right. <laughs> we, we've debunked that. Rick's the one. Probably came from a shuttle that went up, Damien and Winslow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely interesting. Anytime you see something like that come down on the ground, a lot of people have something to say about it. Yeah. Especially here in Phoenix, we do have a lot of folks that buy into... Uh, you know, the extraterrestrial ideas after the Phoenix Lights this would be kind, kind of a for hub sure. for those ideas. I'm open to those ideas. What are you talking about? I didn't say you weren't. <laughs> uh, you made it sound so strange. No, no. it's reasonable. <laughs>